¿Qué pasó YouTube? So this is my house tour of our 2007 mobile home. It's actually called a manufactured home. But uh, I included these pictures of our landscape from before and now. Well, this one's from 2020, but curb appeal is everything. But that will be a separate video. For now, we're going to do the inside. This is our attempt at a farm vibe. That's what my wife wants, a modern farm vibe. So walking in, this is how it looks. If you notice, um, I have some paneling, some panels that I got from Home Depot uh, that represent the look of the wood in the barns or old school houses, I guess, like really old school. So I want you to notice on the fireplace, by the way, these are all ideas or, this is, this is what I learned this winter uh, from watching all the pros here on YouTube. I learned so much from watching HGTV and I, I was hooked, I was addicted and one thing I'll tell you is, as soon as you get an idea, or a, or a project idea, whatever it is, um, keep on top of it, uh, write it down or whatever, and get to work. Because if you don't do it, if you don't take action, it, you might get, end up getting lazy and not doing it. And also, take your time. In my, in my case, I'm a visual learner. Like, I, I'm not that good at reading. I know how to read, but I can't really comprehend things. So I am a visual learner. So these are all things that I learned from watching the pros here on YouTube and from watching other videos. A couple of funny things that I learned as well, but um, this is our modern farm vibe. And if you noticed, uh, I have the, like I said, the wood paneling that I got from Home Depot. And so at first I... I'll, I'll flip to a before picture right here. And, well, this is how, what it looks like now. So at first, I only did this wall. And it looked it looked good. It looked good, but I don't know. It didn't really make sense. So what did make sense was to add another one on the left, on the right side. And now I have two vertical elements, I guess you could say. And then the third one on the fireplace. So now, in my opinion, it makes much more sense how it looks right here. Um, three vertical elements. So as, you, as soon as you walk in, you see these three things that just come out at, a, at you. And this mirror, I, I never liked that mirror. Uh, but after I started doing this, I'm like, you know what? It actually works. So my wife's happy about that. And I like how it looks. It reflects the natural light off of the windows. So mirrors are always good for either the inside or the, the outside. But uh, yeah, you can get these panels at Home Depot for $32 or something like that. It was. These are four by eight. These uh, walls right here are about nine feet tall so uh just get the correct measurements and you'll be good all right so this table right here um i got it for free and so yeah it can't be free um that's the benefits of having a truck i was driving by i'm pretty sure they had just taken it out and i snatched it right up i'm like it's perfect for our house for what we're doing if it's the space and so yeah I think it works and then this rug right here uh, my wife's had it for like over a year or so and it, now it kind of fits in a little bit I'll show you uh, one of the vases in this area has the uh, same colors of the rug so it fits and then she also put that uh, little yellow sofa thing on the corner. Would have liked I would have liked a different color, but even the yellow I think works. And over there, you see me pointing. I still have the 
paint that side. So I painted the back of right here where I'm pointing. Uh, had I not painted that, that was before I decided to put the paneling up. Had I not painted that, I would have had enough to paint that area over there. But it's all good because I'll probably end up painting uh, the kitchen white. But I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I'll end up doing like a second coat here on everything. So the paint that I used here is a, a marquee paint. A bare marquee paint from Home Depot. I'll tell you, that stuff is expensive. It's the most expensive paint I've ever bought. And to my surprise, um, like I said, I've been watching YouTube videos. So uh, I was binge watching all of them. And then I realized one of the designers here on YouTube said that the ultra white paint from Bear Marquis is the whitest paint you can get. So I was happy to hear that. <laughs> okay, so quick story on this uh, flag. I went for an old distressed look. I had my uh, shed doors uh, replaced, so I decided to turn it into a flag. And I don't know, I think it works. It's not perfect, but... Uh, I mean, it fits old and in distress, so why not? And there you see $5 down the drain, so. But uh, yeah, something fun, something I can say I did. And I don't know, I just simply think it fits the theme of the farm vibe that we're going for. And it's one of a kind, so, so why not? Uh, no, you see right there the, well, I'll get back to that. So the paint for the fireplace, uh, that one's called Dark Ash. Again, the white paint is called Ultra Pure White from Bear, Bear Marquis. And the gray paint is um, Dark Ash from Bear Marquis. That stuff is expensive. <laughs> Uh, I'll post a before picture and I did a little some paint of the white paint uh, of the for the fireplace I believe that's called whitewash paint something like that but uh that for that paint I just used a like a satin white paint that we had laying around and then for the right here I'll post a before picture as well you can see the difference now now it just flows onto the kitchen area it, it makes the space look a little bit bigger I think anyway uh, I recommend watching some videos on paint colors so you can decide what is the best paint for you uh, so I learned quite a bit from watching those videos so the white walls are a matte finish I decided to go with a matte finish uh, but what the pros here on YouTube say is if it's a high traffic area, you might want to go with something like a semi-gloss or whatever, or a uh, satin. But I like trying different things. So like for the bathroom, they also said don't use like a matte or a flat color. But in the bathroom, I also used the same paint, which is the matte finish. And I took the laminate flooring into the bathroom, which... You should, you, you're you also not supposed to use in the bathroom, but again, I like to experiment and see what works or doesn't work. And I will most likely be doing a second coat of paint on everything later on. And I wanted to show you these tiles. These tiles I got from Goodwill, uh, which is pretty crazy. They have like a modern design. I'm not sure. But I, I got three boxes like this. Uh, quite a bit of there were several tiles in each box and here I just wanted to lay them flat see how it might end up looking because uh, we we're planning on buying one of the neighbors houses which I'll show you in a bit but uh, along with the tiles there was also this like backsplash tile these two boxes so everything was for uh, like $57 which is pretty crazy but uh, yeah, good uh, 
the rest of the tiles are under the that yellow couch thing and over there where I was pointing at but uh yeah so like I said the, the reason why I bought them is because in a couple months we're planning on buying my neighbor's uh, mobile home he ha he has a problem and I have his solution so there you see me pointing at the container thing it matches the carpet or the rug and it also flows nicely with the blanket thing I think uh, and I'll post a before picture for this area um, but and then I, I, sh I was showing you the little pillow things hey listen I I decorated this area my wife helped me a little bit not that much a little bit so I'm I'm pretty proud of what I did here I think the white walls make just the space look bigger. So um, I'm happy with how that turned out. And then these so-called future, wall, future walls, I think they just make the space, the modern farm vibe type thing. I don't know, I like it. And then that yellow planter thing, um, my wife had it in the master bathroom, but I brought it over here and I think it works. And that little half table thing, she was going to get rid of it, but I put it there and I think it works. It's not too big, not too wide, and it fits the spot nicely. I have a pretty good, like, I don't know, I, I tend to not, I'm not a hoarder. Well, I kind of am, but but I, I can, I kind of know how to repurpose things throughout the house or in the garden or whatever it might be. Uh, so, so before you throw something away, you might be able to use it somewhere. And like I was mentioning to you, we are planning on buying my neighbor's mobile home. He is, he, he has a problem and I have his solution. He is getting married uh, June, July, something like that. I made him an offer. Uh, he accepted it. And um, so we both win. Uh, he's just retiring. Well, he's moving in with his future wife. So, but uh, that'll be that'll be a different topic, a different video. Uh, so where where I was pointing, I'm thinking about putting a Mexican flag, like I did to the American flag. I'm not sure what if I'll make one or if I'll do something creative. I'm not sure. And right here, I'm just showing you the curtains that my wife has. Now they actually fit because they're gray and they're white. The gray goes with the fireplace and with the kitchen. And the white will, the white flows with the white walls. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> uh, I'll post a picture, a before picture of the fireplace. So when we first moved here, these walls right here in the living room, they were blue, like a navy blue. And the walls in the kitchen, they were like a red, like a dark red. Uh, which is, it just made everything look so small. So this house, like I said, I'll be doing a separate video on... I think I said that earlier, I'm not sure. But I'll be doing a separate video on something like... Is our mobile homes worth it or something along that those lines? But I, when I first, my wife called me one randomly called me one day. She's like, "Hey, go look at this house," uh, which was this one. I came over with my daughter. It was a foreclosure, uh, so no one was around. And there, I'm showing you the dogs. Um, but no one was around. I looked through the windows. There were mice, like legit mice. Like I saw at least two in the living room and one in one of the other rooms. And then there was trash bags. There was a carpet, had dog, dog pee everywhere. It was just bad. And now we don't have any mice. We don't have any nothing. But when I first looked in here, uh, it was just, it looked so small. And now it just looks bigger. So... So like I said, the living room 
at first was uh, like a dark blue. Then my wife painted it like a cream color. I like the cream color, but I'm like, you know what? We got to do white. It's just going to look so much nicer. And that's where we're at now. And right here in a little bit, I'll show you what color the walls in the kitchen used to be. There used to be like a red. And then you see, I still, ha I still have some uh, painting tape around the, those tile things. I'm not quite sure what to do with this area. So far, I'm thinking of taking the gray color all the way up to the top. And then those uh, gray diamonds, maybe painting them white. But I'm not sure. I'm still stuck on that. And then I'll either keep that color of the wall or I'll paint it white. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But uh, yeah, this we have a nice cozy house, I think. Um, it's nice and open, but it's also cozy. And uh, that's the living uh, or the laundry area. It's uh, There's a mess over Well, there's a mess everywhere. I didn't really stage the house to for like a video, but I just wanted to show you what I what I have been doing. And then those cabinets is the color that these cabinets used to be. <laughs> and one thing I saw from a couple of videos here on YouTube is you saw me pointing at those lights. So I had never thought about it. And once I heard that, I'm like, oh, now I can't unsee it. So <laughs> here on YouTube, they say that those lights are boob lights. I'm like, oh, they are. So I'm like, what? I was like, mind blown, right? So now I can't unsee it. And I never liked them, but now I really don't like them. But uh, whatever, maybe later on I'll change them, whatever. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. And that's really it for the for the living room tour. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I I don't know. Let me know what you think of our house. Is it your taste? Is it not my taste? But uh, like I said, the other video, the future video will be our mobile home is worth it. In that video, I'm gonna give you some well my opinion on how you can add on how you can add value to a mobile home or a manufactured home. I think a lot of people get this wrong when it comes to not only manufactured homes, but houses in general. So these are just things that I learned from here on YouTube, which are, which are free. And now I'll just take you uh, into the, into our room, our master bedroom, I guess. I'll show you my wife's uh, closet. It's pretty spacious. So before this house, we were renting uh, and we didn't have, like, now my wife has a, um, a walk-in closet, which is crazy. It's, it's like, I mean, it's so big compared to what we were used to before. Uh, as you can see, she's got clutter everywhere. <laughs> like, 99% of the stuff in here are hers. And I just wanted to show you that. And then I'll show you the, uh, bathroom, which is also pretty spacious. And that would be it, really. Not Don't really want to go in there because, well, there's a mess. So for our bedroom, we're probably going to end up doing, probably carry the same theme, but uh, like laminate, but maybe different paint colors. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. That'll be later on. And then, like you can see, I still got some pinning to do. Some other, like I got some, uh, what do you call that? The baseboards, some of them. And right here, I'm just showing you, I got, I stained that bean thing. I figured I needed something to kind of flow with uh, the wood paneling. And it just takes you over to the fireplace. And I want you to notice the three. Now I have three vertical elements that kind of jump out at you. Like a focal point, I guess. I kind of relate interior design with 
uh, landscaping, kinda. Uh, it's all about flow. I guess you call that feng shui, feng shui, whatever. I forget what that word is. But uh, that's really it. I'll leave you guys with some nighttime pictures. So peace out, YouTube. Let me know if you liked how it turned out or if it's not your style. That's fine. But that's it. Peace out.